Hey, this is Code Black and welcome to episode four. Today we're going to continue with mid-intro sounds or screeches, but this time we're going to distort the hell out of some basic silence patches. So for all you people out there that were complaining that you don't have a virus TI, well, here you have it. We're going to do some really distorted sounds with silence. So in front of me, I have a patch in silence. I believe it was a stock patch, but I'm not sure if I tweaked it or not at the time. Um, but I'm going to play it to you without any effects on it, so you can hear exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, pretty crap. But what we're going to do is we're going to abuse this thing, and I'll show you exactly what it sounds like with a bit of distortion and EQ. Now, I'm not sure if that sounds familiar because that eventually turned into this. So to get the original sound to the eventual sound of Red Planet, I'm going to show you the steps. So there are two steps for this. EQ and distort. Nothing more. You don't have to go crazy with this. It can be really, really simple. So what I've done is I've used the clip control and I've overdriven it to the maximum amount inside Isotope Trash. So if we listen to the patch again, and we turn on distortion, pretty cool. It's already starting to come to life a little bit. What I've done over here is just a gigantic mess. You know, you can sit there and copy this, but it's not going to give you the results that you need. Play with your EQ and push it to the extremes. That's what hardstyle screeches and intro sounds are all about. It's about pushing in certain regions that will allow the distortion to get fucked up and pushed up uh, more than what it already is. So by pushing the low end, you know, you're really starting to get that, that crackle sometimes because the, the bass is just overflowing and clipping the crap out of it. Um, but also sometimes pushing the, the mid-range brings out that character, that resi tone. So play with it, play with different patches and just abuse the hell out of your uh, EQ and you should end up with something that is quite resonant. Um, sometimes I see guys do this and they end up with a sound that's a little bit unbalanced afterwards. So please keep in mind that when you do this, you might have to do some EQ adjustments post distortion and, and EQ. And for a fact, this EQ is actually sitting before distortion. So you're pushing these EQ amounts into the distortion. Okay, so now the only thing left to do is hit your keyboard. Bash your keyboard, do the same thing we did last week. Bounce down a whole bunch of random noises that make sense of the noise. Here I've just chopped and, and you know, put different pieces together um, that I've liked. So I've cut like this little part here. It's just completely screwed up. But it's perfect. Then you make sense of it. You make patterns. Uh, make sure you try to get them in time as well. But also last week I taught you guys the control alt slip. Scroll our waveform backwards and forwards. Which becomes quite handy to just change these little phrases around. So I can jump between doing things in triplet and straight and, and whatever, just by scrolling through this waveform and getting inspiration, basically. So I hope you guys have learned something from this. And I'm going to show you a few more examples of, of how I've used this, because I've, I've done this technique in so many tracks. So I'm going to show you a few more. And I hope that you guys can take this, distort the crap out of your sounds, and have fun with it. And if I disable these things... Now it sounds stupid and ridiculous. And to be honest, um, you know, <laughs> I actually distorted it before I started to make 
all these patterns. And actually in the final version of Unleash the Beast, I then bounced it down to audio. And once again, I abused it even more with uh, some distortions and actually taking the audio bounce and cutting pieces up and then pitching them down with the transpose and all sorts of stupid things. I think I even used the, the, the glitch on there as well, like the, the old school one, the tape stop. So I hope you guys once again can, you know, take a boring sound. Um, And have fun with it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week.